Hi, I'm Nisa. Welcome to our Peropanda walkthrough. With our 30-day free trial, you can experience the simplicity of using Peropanda first hand at no charge. Let's look through the process and see just how effortless Peru can be. Let's dive in. To get started, simply sign up for an account or log in if you have one already. You can create multiple companies with one login access should you need to. Once you're logged in, you will be on the dashboard where you will see the current month, the number of employees for the three most recent months, in this case July, June, and May, and a tick box indicating whether payroll has been processed for each respective month. By clicking on Go to Payroll Overview from here, you will be directed to the Payroll tab where you can run or view payroll for specific months. Head to the company settings to customize the necessary configurations for your company. Begin by providing your company details, including the company name, address, and necessary numbers for statutory contributions. If registered with HRDF, input the applicable rate and category. Additionally, enter your bank details for Payropanda to generate payment files for salary and statutory payments. On the Location and Schedule page, you have the option to create various locations and schedules to assign to your employees, making it easier to filter and calculate payroll. It's important to note that creating at least one default schedule is mandatory for payroll calculations to be enabled. Then, you can proceed to the position section if you want to create ready positions for your employees based on the roles within your company, such as sales associate or finance manager. Alternatively, you can create the positions when you create each employee's profile. After that, go to departments and click on add department if you want to create departments to assign your employees to, to easily filter when running payroll. Now that we've completed the company settings, let's delve into the payroll settings. You can start by setting your payroll cycle in the cycle section by setting a cutoff date. As an example, if you want to pay your employees from February 26th to March 25th for March payroll, choose the 25th as your cycle end date and assign the payroll month to the month in which the cycle ends. As your cycle ends on March 25th, so your payroll month will be March. If you prefer to pay employees based on calendar months, just select the last day of the month as your cycle end date. Then, go to Policies and click Add. Choose the basis for salary proration which applies when employees join or leave during the month, as well as for overtime, leave pay, and unpaid leave calculations. For salary proration and unpaid leave, calculations based on calendar days are the standard requirements under the Employment Act amendments in force from 2023. For overtime, you can select a basis for employees not automatically entitled to it under the Employment Act and an alternative basis for those earning up to 4,000 ringgit who should be paid overtime at a minimum rate based on 26 fixed days. The minimum leave pay hourly rate for departing employees is mandated to be based on 26 fixed days in accordance with the Act. You can create multiple policies for different employees if different calculation bases are needed. In the Payroll Items tab, you can view the settings of our preset payroll items. These presets already take into account the statutory laws for each item to ensure full compliance when you run payroll. For instance, annual bonuses are subject to PCB and EPF but not SOXO and EIS. You can opt to disable any item you don't regularly use, ensuring they don't appear in the list when adding payroll items to your payroll or employee profiles. Additionally, you have the flexibility to create custom payroll items and select your preferred settings. Delving into integrations, you'll find a range of options with Payroll Panda covering HR platforms and accounting software. The Jibble integration, for example, enables users to sync leave data to their pay slips as well as factor hours for part time workers, overtime, and unpaid leave into payroll calculations. The Zero and QuickBooks integrations allow you to sync your payroll data to your account books. If a company is already using any of the software solutions on offer, try and integrate them into Payroll Panda. Alternatively, take the opportunity to explore our integration options to determine if they align with your company's needs and interests.
To learn how to integrate them, visit www.payropanda.my and navigate to the Integrations tab. You will find videos guiding you through the process. Also, explore our public API documentation to customize your own integration. If you wish to allow others besides yourself to run payroll or access employee or payroll data, simply navigate to the Manage Users section. Then, head to Invitations at where you can input their primary email and designation and proceed to send the invitation. Additional users can be added to your Payroll Panda account with the owner having the flexibility to tailor access for each user. Upon acceptance of the email invitation, they will be granted access to your Payroll Panda account. Access your list of employees under the Employees tab. If you wish to add new employees, click on Add Employee. This option enables you to add employees individually, ideal for new joiners. Just remember, you'll need to have enough available seats under your subscription settings to add them. Some integrations support automatic employee creation. Find out more from our integrations page on our website. To begin, enter the employee's personal details in the Profile tab. Marital status and dependent children details are important for PCB calculations. Additionally, include employee's bank account details if you'll be generating a bulk salary payment file. In the Employment section, enter details like join date and salary. If there's an increment later on, update the new salary and effective date. It will be added to your payroll from the effective date and prorated if required. Statutory information is set automatically based on nationality and date of birth. Statutory settings are updated automatically once an employee turns 18 or 60. Add monthly paid items like monthly allowances, overtime or commission as recurring payroll items so they appear in your payroll every month and to ensure accurate PCB calculations. PCB may be underpaid if monthly paid items are not added as recurring. If the amount varies, leave it as zero in the employee's profile and update the amount every month in your payroll table. Next, assign your employees to the different departments, locations, schedules and payroll policies that you created earlier. In the Payroll tab, enter your company's previous payslip data for the current year if you started using Payroll Panda during the year to ensure accurate PCB calculations and complete E and EA forms. Year-to-date data for later months will be filled automatically when each payroll is approved. In the DP3 form, enter current year previous employment income and deduction data for your new employees who have joined during the current year to ensure accurate PCB calculations. Under the Payroll tab, you can also access the employee's pay slips and TP1 forms containing details of your employee's optional tax deductions added to each payroll. Under the Forms tab, you can download yearly EA and PCB2 forms. You are also able to generate LHDN forms like CP21, CP22, and CP22A forms for employees joining or leaving your company. Generate TP3 forms for employees leaving your company so they can provide their new employees with previous employment pay data received during the current year. Alternatively, you can choose the bulk upload option to import multiple employees at once by downloading the template, filling in the employees' details, and then saving the sheet as a CSV file, and uploading it to create the employees' profiles. You can also efficiently manage employee data by bulk editing uploading previous payslip data from your company or handling recurring payroll items for multiple employees all at once via our additional bulk upload features. To enhance employee search functionality, utilize filters such as location, department, position, nationality, residency, salary type, and email. Additionally, you can archive employees who are no longer with the company with the option to restore them in case of rehiring. Archiving an employee is straightforward. Simply click on the archive icon and input details like the last day at work and whether their salary should be prorated in their final month based on that day. Alternatively, you have the option to archive employees in bulk via our Edit Employee Bulk Upload feature. You have the ability to export employee data for easy access and management. Now that you've added your company and employee details, you can proceed to run your payroll. 
To run payroll, select the relevant month. Let's do March as an example. Once you've chosen the month, you will be directed to a page where you can view the list of employees, their salaries along with both employee and employer contributions. We recommend you log any previous payrolls for the months before you start using Payroll Panda. That will prevent accidentally altering the previous payslip data you entered into employees' profiles. Additionally, the system allows for easy restarting of payroll to start fresh. It also provides the option to hide payroll items or employees with zero salary, ensuring a smoother and more efficient payroll processing. When you run your payroll, all contributions are automatically calculated in the payroll table. You can view the full PCB calculation by clicking on the PCB amount for each employee. Additionally, use filters to view the payroll table for employees based on location, department, or other criteria. To add an additional payroll item, such as a quarterly or annual bonus, for an individual employee, you can click on the pencil icon for the employee and then select the payroll item and enter the amount. You can also enter any unpaid leave or leave pay days for automatic calculations. Alternatively, you can add one item to multiple employees using the Add Payroll Item button. If you need to enter different additional items or add commission amounts or overtime hours to your payroll for multiple employees, simply download the bulk payroll template, fill in all your payments for the current payroll, download as CSV and upload the file. All your payroll amounts and additional payroll items will be updated with one upload. If you have integrated with apps like Jibble or Zoho People, click on the Sync Payroll Data icon and then on the software name to automatically update your payroll according to any leave or attendance data logged on those platforms. Once you're satisfied with the payroll details, click Continue, review the payroll summary, and then approve payroll. The process takes a few seconds to complete. Keep in mind that you can reopen the payroll to make any changes if required even after it's been approved. Once approved, you can download your bulk payment files and upload them to your bank or the statutory portals. Payroll Panda generates bulk payment salary and statutory files from more than 10 banks or files that can be used directly on statutory portals. You can choose to download payment files for selected employees or payroll items that you want to pay separately. You can also preview employees' pay slips to ensure they're good to go before emailing them to your employees or publishing them to your employees' accounts in your integrated HR software. In the Forms tab, you can generate your annual E and EA forms, along with LHD and audit files in case of a PCB audit. Under the Reports tab, you can generate payroll reports for specific periods filtered by location, department, or other criteria. Reports offer essential insights helping you to effortlessly track spending and manage resources efficiently. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out to our dedicated customer support team via the live chat button located at the bottom right of your account. You can also book a demo if you would like one of our Payroll Panda experts to guide you. That concludes our walkthrough of Payroll Panda. Create an account and enjoy our one-month free trial to experience all that Payroll Panda has to offer. Thanks for joining us. Bye!